Welcome to Conversations, Cocktails, and Connections. I am Amy Hester. I am Emily Reeves. Amy, are you ready for a drink? I, first, I want to know if you've grown. Um, <laughs> I, I have a little lift. I have a little lift going on. <laughs> we're, nice. we're, we're trying something different today. A little different. A little different. So tonight, we're going to make a peach limoncello bourbon sour. Um, That's peach. a lot going on, isn't it? <laughs> it is, but the peaches smell amazing, yes. and uh, it is about the season. So, well, we're going to start by muddling some peaches. So I'm going to get those into our <laughs> shaker here and do a little meddling. I know you like to meddle. Do you want to meddle? Oh, of course. <laughs> That's what's going to happen new these days. Is I'm going to be a little helper. Amy's going to start making some drinks, and I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Excited about I'm it. actually nervous. I'm really nervous because you know the whole time that mm -hmm. um, you've been doing it, I've just been trying to like talk and not pay attention. <laughs> I know. So what's going to happen when you're trying to do it and I'm talking? <laughs> That's going to be really bad. <laughs> I'm really nervous about it, but I am excited about the peaches because you know I know you're not a big fruit purchase I'm not a fruit person. Like yeah. you don't buy a fruit. I mean I love I don't fruit. Eat fruit. I don't buy fruit. I don't drink fruit. <laughs> but the peach truck is one of those things I've I've been seeing lately on uh, Facebook. Okay. How are you looking? I think it looks good. Okay. okay. Sure. Let's let's take it and try it. Um. All right, so then we're gonna add the bourbon. We're gonna do we're doing two drinks. So we're gonna do three ounces. So the thing that the that I have struggled with, and this may be why you don't buy fruit very often, is because I tend to over buy fruit and think I'm gonna eat it all, and I don't, and it's a lot of waste. Um, I'll tell you why I don't buy it. I don't like it. <laughs> I know. I just don't like fruit. I'm just not a fruit a fruit person. Okay, we're gonna do. I'm a little fruity. <laughs> A half ounce of limoncello each. Look, so I purposely looked for something to use limoncello again since we had a drink. It's that had the it most and, beautiful bottle ever. And uh, I was like, so I don't know if you saw this, but the the lady that I went, that Emily, my other Emily friend Davis, <laughs> and I went to see em, uh, Heather McMahon in Jackson, Mississippi. Um, she just got married in Italy, and she had what most a lot of people will do, like the champagne like fountain thing mm -hmm. they had limoncello oh wow it's like if you saw the photos it was like what is all the lemon drinks <laughs> and it was limoncello wow i mean to be rich and famous and know, really. marry an italian and get married in italy you know <laughs> with fireworks and sounds lovely super fun okay squeezing a little fresh lemon i juice. mean emily it's been a minute it's been a long minute and uh <laughs> I'm a little out of practice. I know. I know. It's okay. I just told Emily before we started, I've had this lipstick on since 9 a.m. <laughs> it's a stain. I mean, it's impressive. Mm -hmm. It's really impressive. Yeah. It's my superpower. It is. That is something you're very mm -hmm. good at. Okay. So we're going to add some ice in here. Okay. So try not to make a splashy splash mess. Of course, someone's calling me. Oh, of course, spam. <laughs> I've been getting more spam calls lately. Like, I mean, one after the next, and it's crazy. And what's funny is it says it's spam on my my watch, mm -hmm. but on my phone it doesn't really say that. Okay. Yeah. I think the job's good. It sounds. I mean, listen, bourbon, peaches, lemon. How can you go wrong? I mean, a maple and syrup. maple syrup on top. What? All right, we are going to double strain so we don't get any of the peach gunk in okay. there. Lessons learned on oh. that. Even though you said that, when I start making drinks, it's going to have to be like lessons again. You're going to have to be my teacher, Emily. I can do it. I can do it. We've got... A spam's going to leave me a message. <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah. God, it smells good. Bourbon. I haven't had a bourbon drink in a while. I haven't either. I've been on a big time tequila kick. You have been on a tequila kick. We're going to garnish. Garnish with some, with some fresh peach. out of our orchard. And some sage. Little. Beautiful sage leaves. Sage leaf. Gorgeous. Okay. I'm very excited about this. <gasps> tasty, Cheers. tasty. Let's see. Okay. 
Um, why don't you go ahead and make another one? <laughs> it's pretty good. That's pretty damn um, good. Can we make a half a one? For being out of practice, that's pretty damn good. Fuck. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> New studio, first take. <laughs> it's the test run that may tester, become a tester, may become tester, a real run. Tester. It may become a real run. Tester at the Hasters. We've got we've got a lot going on here, but we've got a good drink. Um, cheers, my friend. Cheers. I kind of have like an app and a drink and all in one. I know. I mean, who doesn't like peaches? Well. Honestly, Emily. I mean, when you're talking about peaches and. I'm actually going to, so I got the, the napkin so I could like yeah. put that there for later to snack on. Um, I, I, I'm i not currently, I don't really know how to choose perfectly ripe fruit as well. Yeah, well, I, I, I bought a lot of fruit, so <laughs> like there's still peaches at my house. Like I tried to, I bought four. I tried to cut two. I realized they were not. They were like too hard or something. Mm -hmm, yeah, like, I mean, I opened them. I was like, are these even peaches? I mean, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> they have them. Is it a nut or a seed? It's a seed. The pit, yeah. Is that a, a pit, a seed? Seed, yeah. Okay. I mean, you're asking the person that does not even question. do fruit. But um, So I went back and got two more peaches. And from the Krogs? Uh, well, the original set was from the Kroger. The second set was from um, Heights. the Heights Corner Market. I mm -hmm. think, I, I don't even know if that's what it's called, but that's where I went. That's what I call it. Um, I've been going there frequently to get Topo Chico. They always have it in stock, but they did not have it in stock today, which is good. I, oh, do you I, need some? Because I have a ton. Mm -mm. <laughs> I am stocked up right now. So when we had our little birthday celebration here at the, at, at the house, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, for the salon. For the salon, yes. I bought a ton of Topo Chico. I don't mm -hmm. drink that because I'm very picky with my, with my drinks. Just not just cocktails. I mean, cocktails, probably mm -hmm. I could drink better than just water or whatever but anyway to drink it just plain without alcohol no i, I, I use it as a mixer so yeah. after it was after the party was over the next day i had so much left over i was like "Ooh, maybe i'll try something fun and put my propel in that did not work did it it's a little explosion <laughs> i mean if you're not going to drink it i'll take it <laughs> I mean, I'll <laughs> but i'm but good we can keep it for the bar if we yeah, want to make should, some yeah yeah that's I what mean, we not, should do not for my bar because we mm -hmm. haven't had any since april so mm -hmm. but if we want to think of things to make with it we've got yeah. plenty i mean i'm i've been drinking it every night with my tequila and lime okay you're making your ranch water your making own. my I'm making my own ranch water okay. you know yeah emily's taste buds have changed a little bit in the last i can't, can't drink, drink red wine. wine i can't drink red wine it's the craziest like even you were drinking it earlier and like the smell was even bothering me really and that nuts and um i mean like well, I, it was two days old so um, I mean, like, when Matthew and I went out to dinner when we were in New Mexico, like we had a couple of nice dinners and mm -hmm. I had wine at one of those dinners and it was fine, you yeah. know, but um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's been a minute. We've both been on vacation. Emily mm -hmm. just got back from yes. Taos. Mm -hmm. I've been to Mexico. We both had good vacations mm -hmm. and holy hell, June is almost over. It's Actually, insane. It's July. I mean, it's about to be July. Like, yeah. Yeah, this will air in July, yeah. so it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm having a hard time with it. I mean, I think that how quickly it's, I don't know. I, I think since, I, I blame it all on COVID. Mm -hmm. I really, really do, because I swear to you, I did not think that the time was like this before. And now it's, it's if you have that one thing to look forward to, when you finally get there, it's, it's, it's marking that part in your, calendar that's like oh my god i can't believe it's already here yeah you know and yeah. all this time has gone by anyway i don't know i yeah it does it does feel like the year has like we're half a year halfway mm -hmm. through the year mm -hmm. and i'm like what have i accomplished has it been a successful year i mean like you know um, i start well, i start doing all of this read, how many books have you read already oh i've read like 62 books <laughs> so matthew went out of town went her matthew mm -hmm. which if you don't know this her Matthew is Matthew. Mine is Matt. Mm -hmm. My Matthew is Matt. <laughs> so Matthew was out of town and she's like, I said, how was your week? And she's like, it's good. I read six books. <laughs> I don't even read six books in a year. 
I know, but you know, that's but like, I think that's yeah. amazing. I mean, I'm like, so, you know, what's funny is Aaron, he stayed at her house and dog sat while mm-hmm. they were gone. And Aaron was like, I feel like I should read when I'm at her house. <laughs> well, you should. She would love it if you would read yeah, something on her book. On I her would. Wall, I would. Which, yeah. I was like, do it. Yeah. I, that, I should ask him. I don't even know. I forgot to ask him that. It just yeah. made me think about it. But, yeah. yeah. It's probably one he could just take with him. And I probably wouldn't <laughs> even know it was missing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I would love that. I like to pass along books that I've liked and, and read. And um, yeah, like I get really excited when like every once in a while, Sophie's like, um, can I, do you have this book or can I get this book? I'm like, I have that book. I read that book because now on TikTok, book talk is like a thing, like a, you know, and so like books start trending and selling because of people reviewing them on mm-hmm. TikTok. And so she's, that's where she is all the time. And so oh, she's she, wanting to do that. She, no, she's not wanting to review books. She's wanting to read the books that are being talked talked about on TikTok, you know, that have kind of gone whatever viral mm-hmm. on TikTok. And so she'll ask for books and a lot of times they're books I've already read because I mean Sure. I mean you're way ahead of the sketch. I, I'm I'm on trend when it comes to books. Why am I abbreviating things? I don't know. I feel really cool. That's <laughs> <laughs> really not um I th- what's really funny with with not I mean Sophie's older than what I'm gonna reference is I have some clients whose daughters are maybe 11, 12, and they're wanting to kind of like, they're they're asking their parents about like, I want to do a video. Mm-hmm. And so I've seen a couple of the videos that some of, and it, they're just silly and they don't, they're not really a purpose, but they, they want to be like those people that they're watching. Mm-hmm. So whether they choose to be a makeup person or a book person, mm-hmm. I mean, they're trying to like mimic those people. Mm-hmm. So, but the, honestly, by the time they've, mimic them it'll be something else it's oh yeah i mean yeah and it's 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 really interesting um how everybody's a creator now like you know like you you don't just consume everybody's a creator don't you feel that that's the thing since covid um or more i've noticed that that's more available i guess i don't i i don't know that it's more here's what i think i think that people outside of their teens started spending more time Mm -hmm. on those apps present (laughs) and um that weren't already kind of privy to that or or kind of aware of -hmm. of those things and so i think that is a result of covid i don't think teens being there and spending time and creating and you know kind of trying to do their own thing is new because of covid what do you think the thing is with the teens, if they're not, they want instant success with it. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that they want to immediately, or not instant success, it's they want to go find those people that they're seeing. Mm-hmm. So, I've actually know of clients that basically have taken their children on vacations to, like, L.A. Because that's, they think, and the parents know they're not they're not going to see the influencers typically, but they're like, right. they want to go to LA or wherever they live, mm-hmm. they're, whoever they're watching to see if they can find them. It's like, it's, just, that's it's, amazing. it's just the modern I mean, day celebrity. I mean, yeah. it's the same, you know, it's the same thing as wherever our friends want to go, you know, eat or drink when they're in LA because oh, they sure. want to do like celeb like, spotting. Like a it's a, it's person, the same. like a famous chef, which honestly, if you go into that, mm-hmm. We, we didn't really look into chefs and watch chefs show. I mean, like, that's a new thing. I mean, I, I mean, it, mm-hmm. there's always been chefs, which has been great. You mean like Julia Child? Yeah, it's been around for a long time. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, but I'm saying, like, it hasn't been as popular. It, here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to summarize it for you. It has not been as accessible for anybody to right. become a, a celebrity like it is now because of social media. I think yeah. that's what you're trying to yes, say. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I th- but that's with any any profession, too. right? Right. Right. I mean, I think that it's just whoever has the best marketer. Marketer. Is that what is that a word? Mark. Marketer is a word. Okay. Yeah. 
or you know like it's just it's kind of who's doing doing it in the most interesting way that can that the algorithm picks up because that's really what it boils down to is what is the algorithm like and what is the algorithm not like Mm -hmm. and um and then you know if it picks it up and it's good and people start following you and you continue to create good content but there's a lot of pressure that goes with that too and yeah i mean people think it's easy and it's not I mean, think about your own Instagram page. Like, how well, I mean, how easy is how it to much, post things every day? It's not. Yeah, I mean, things have changed so much. I mean, you know. I mean, I don't know. But I know. I notice things. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, like, I notice little things. And, I'm, and I'll go to her. And she's like, well, this is, you know, mm-hmm. trying to explain it. I'm like, I don't care. I just want to know why. Yeah. You know. Uh, but the but I think that somebody that wasn't a friend with somebody that's in marketing would mm-hmm. be like, what's going on? Like, why is this happening? Yeah, it's it's just it is it is my business, and so I, sometimes I forget that like I know it and I understand it, and nobody else, and not nobody else, but like a lot of like my peers don't necessarily yeah. like they yeah. just kind of see it and consume it, and they don't understand what what's happening or yeah. kind of the nuances behind it, and so I find it really fascinating. Like last night. Um, I was served the perfect ad for me and it was um, edible cookie dough that has like all of these like nutrients added to it. So it's got protein and vitamins and, you know, all this stuff. And it's like really cute. And like it comes with, no, I have not bought it, but but let me tell you why. (laughs) Um, Because I was sitting there like scrolling and I saw the ad and I clicked on it and I started telling Matthew about it. And I was like, this, like somebody found me perfect. Like, this is so me, I I would totally do this. And I started looking at it and like filled my cart, but I didn't buy it. I go back to Instagram. I shit you not. Every other post in my feed was an ad for something that is like a delicious treat that has nutritious elements added to it. And it became this game. I started reading them out to Matthew. I was like, you are not going to believe this. And I mean, I would scroll, went through one picture that, you know, of somebody I was following. And then the next was an ad for one of these things. And it was, it was everything from like, you know, edible cookie dough. And then I found a competitor for that because I got served an ad for that. And it was like granola bars or cookies or just, I was like, this is insane. I said, I clicked on one ad. Yeah. And I spent what, two or three minutes on their website, came back to the app and everything served to me. Everything served to me was in that same category. And, and it just made me think like, how does anybody... A business like those are all direct consumer businesses, right? Like normally you would, it's not going to the grocery store. It's not going to the grocery store to buy it. It's they're selling direct to consumer, which is kind Mm -hmm. of a new, newer business model, right? Like Mm -hmm. you used to have to go to a larger store to get all of these things. And I was like, how does anybody make it? Because there is so much competition out there. It's, it comes down to who is spending More the most money. ad dollars and who is got their who's got their targeting right. Because like all of that is like keyword targeting and trying to figure out like who's, you know, what words are they searching for? What are they clicking on? All this stuff. And I said, I, I, I literally spent an hour reading out all the brands that were targeting me that I'd never heard of before that were in this same category. And I was just, I was like, I work in this business. I do this. I place these ads. And this is unbelievable to me. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I, I literally, ads are ridiculous for me as far as like, I mean, I, you can totally see that I slow down. I mean, I try not to do it, mm-hmm. but if there's something that is grabbing me like instantly, I'll slow down and I'm like, hmm, now I did buy something that hasn't come yet. It's mm-hmm. probably because it was like stupidly cheap. And I know my husband's not ever going to wear this, mm-hmm. but I bought this thing and it actually was an add on facebook and now of course it is cons- i've already bought it mm-hmm. and i haven't gotten it yet but i has now followed you around it is all over the place <laughs> he doesn't wear hawaiian shirts <laughs> it is a hawaiian shirt you customize the background color and the leaf color and then you add your dog oh that's hilarious oh yeah he didn't know about it yet but I bought it before Father's Day because I was like, oh, that's just funny. Like a dog father. Like uh-huh. a dog father. Um, like a, so in, it, it's kind of cuter if it's just one dog. Mm-hmm. And I put, but you can do up to three. And I was like, I put all three dogs on it. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be kind of a joke. And it's probably going to be like this big. And 
not fit, but it's just the point of the, it's funny because it's right. like he'll never wear it. But right. it's just funny. Like if it comes in, I'm totally gonna wear it on here because <laughs> it literally has. When's it supposed to be skin? here? I have, I have no idea. Well, if you ordered it before Father's Day, it should, I mean, I guess it's a custom print, so it was only like thirty or forty dollars too. I wonder how they do that. How they make money on that? It's probably not a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. But it kind of was, it was one of those things that I was like, I kept looking. I was like, oh, this is funny. Uh-huh. So, and then when it, then when I, I clicked on it and then I went to like, to do the, 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 like the detail part and it said three dogs. I was like, okay, well, sure. Mm-hmm. I could put all three of our dogs on mm-hmm. one shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so. I need to show you something, not right now, like I'll show you afterwards, okay. but I'm thinking about, you know, my sweet Beatrice passed away yes. and I don't really want to talk a lot about that, but I'm thinking about getting a tattoo of her mm. and I've had it like drawn up and, um, and so I want to show you don't and see if, who? Um, I found somebody on Etsy that, and mm. like I sent him a picture and they did like a, a line drawing and, um, oh my gosh, just show me right now. And, um, and so I kind of want to get like really small, like right here, like maybe, um, but I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm kind of itching to get another tattoo. And um, not that this is, I mean, but I, I love my Beatrice. And, like, uh, I think without her name. <gasps> oh, that is adorable. Isn't that cute? Yes. I, I don't know. Like, it. y'all can see. But, like. That's so and I, It's somebody cute. I found on Etsy. It's and, cuter than what it's showing. Yeah. Because, and she did another one, like, without the eyes colored in. But I think, oh, like, it looks better with that. But, like, I don't know. Like, maybe it was just without the yeah, name. But, like, just, like, the, a, like, really small right there. Oh. A good, do the one without the eyes. Without the eye shading? Yeah, like I like the eyes. But then if you look at it on camera, you can all, all you see is the, wait, the other one. Yeah. You see the eyes. Yeah, they're so dark. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's really cute. I mean, she did a good job. Yeah, she did a great job. You should at least frame it. I definitely, I mean, she. it's, <gasps> just, it's like a high res. It's like a high res print um so like image cute. so that i can print it and frame it but um but like i just i love it oh, oh my yeah. god she's so special i know i didn't want to ask you today about it so no, i I'm still not, don't i'm still not uh, i'm still not doing very well with it yeah. but um but that's i think the, that's my next okay, i think I, i'll go with you yeah of course of course Ooh. um yeah what's funny is when we were on, va- well, on vacation um, we got some cheesy photos made. I lo- they're not cheesy. I think they're so cute. Well, the the resort has this thing where they're like, oh, we'll have the free photo shoot. And I'm, you know, I'm like, okay, sign us up. I'm like, mm-hmm. free photo shoot. Sure. I like to have my picture taken. Sure. And then I was like, how am I going to talk Matt into this? Mm-hmm. And I got him. He, he did it. And I was thinking, you know, it's going to be not a big deal to get all of the photos. Right. And it was. So the cost was in buying the, the photos. Yes. Yeah. And it was so. Much more expensive than even buying photos here. Mm-hmm. Um, so I ended up buying like 10 photos because the lower you go, the more, the expensive. more expensive they were. So yeah. like 10 was kind of at the max to get the best. I mean, I mean, if you went less than that, they were end up being like $30 pictures. Yeah. I mean, it was like insane. But I was thinking, you know, how great would these be for a gift for our mm-hmm. parents, you know? And um, anyway, a lot of the photos that I saw... Mm-hmm. All I could see was my stupid 20-year-old ankle tattoo. <laughs> and now I'm obsessed with I have got to have that removed. I don't even care if it's dulled and blurred. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm like, I've I've forgotten about it. I mean, I forget about it yeah. until you look at a bunch of pictures and every single one, that's all I saw. Because it's black mm-hmm. and I'm obviously very white. Mm-hmm. Very very pale <laughs> but it's just like that's all I saw yeah I don't know like I, I'm kind of just like I mean I'm fine I think with them I'm fine with I'm all at the age ones. now where I'm, I just like I'm like fuck it I want them all like but it's different uh-huh. like it's different it's different mm-hmm. like I feel like as I'm older like that was like the 20 year old one that is kind of dumb mm-hmm. like I don't want my Asian yeah what is it what is it strength 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 <laughs> I'm strong then yeah so i know i always get like uh kind of weird when people are like well what does your tattoo mean i'm like because i have multiple tattoos and i was sitting at um 
sitting at a bar I mean like it was like a lunchtime thing but and so I had my back to somebody behind me and they asked me because I have these stars on the yeah. back which I forget that I have because I don't see them yeah totally. and that's like one of the reasons like like I want tattoos where I can see them because because yeah. I the there's purpose of, yeah, yeah 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 and um and you know so like I'm like I created a reason for them like a long time ago because people would ask me and it's mm-hmm. not just because I just wanted three stars, you know, yeah. like now I've created a reason for them. And, um, but I'm like, three star Emily. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, that's like, uh, you know, I hate it when people ask, well, what's that? I'm like, I don't, it's just a, it's well, just a tattoo. Really funny like, about it doesn't her matter. stars is, I mean, she got those. And I remember, like, when I was doing her hair, you're like, oh, you can't cut it over the stars. Yeah. Like, you were so worried, like, you uh-huh. for work and stuff. Uh-huh. Like, you couldn't do it. And, and then, yeah. And I thought they were the coolest tattoos. I was like. Oh. Because then you ended up getting one on the back of your yeah, neck. Yeah, I have a star on my back of my neck. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's a superstar. <laughs> um but again i forget uh, that they're forget, forget it's there, there. Yeah. yeah um and now i don't care yeah. you know like uh, somebody was behind me again uh, like an old friend and they're like uh your tattoo stars are showing i was like and like i mean it's just Duh. yeah at the time i i cared but now you know i don't yeah. I, for, I mean you just kind of forget but um i do like the etched out the outline ones a mm-hmm. lot mm-hmm. um like that i mean mm-hmm. i I have my bobby pin, which yeah. I forget that I have a lot of times because I always have bracelets and lots of bracelets on. Uh-huh. As Emily knows that I, she has to dull the uh-huh. sound of my bracelets uh-huh. a lot um, in editing. But um, and I forget that it's there until somebody points it out. Yeah. And, you know, when I went to get this where you, you were there, right? Mm-hmm. I really er- originally wanted it like like here and mm-hmm. they wouldn't do it. And then I was like, can you do it, like, on my finger? That is one thing that drives me crazy about the tattoo places is when they're like, well, that's not a good place to do it. Because I'm, I'm like, like, I don't care Just if it do fades. it. Just do it. Like, like kind of okay if it fades. Yeah. And if I want to retouch it, that's fine. Yeah. Like, uh, that's another thing I think that's come with age as well is, like, if they're going to they're gonna try to talk me out of it, I'll be like, that's where I want it. Yeah. Period. I know. I wish that like, I, I now just, I know uh-huh. now that made me so mad. I mean, I'm fine with it here. It's mm-hmm. fine because I always wear bracelets. Not that I have to cover it up, mm-hmm. but I kind of forget about it. And then clients will cause I always have bracelets on. And mm-hmm. if I, for some reason, didn't have one on, they're like, is that new? I'm like, no. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just usually, I forget that it's even there. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just, it's, I don't know. It's just one of those things with the Asian thing. I'm ready to let it go. So are you going to, is that what you're going to go? Uh, you're going to try to find some place to take it off? Maybe, I think maybe for the fall, because I think it's supposed to be really painful. And, um, and I think, not that I'm in the sun. I don't know. It's just mm-hmm. one of those things. Like if I'm wearing more pants, it might yeah. be better to just like have pants on. So that's more, so, so, so I'll just covered. wait till like, I'm not wearing jeans shorts. shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but anyway I, I mean tattoos are fun and i have my sister's initials here mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. hello where's the angle mm-hmm. um and i get asked what that is a lot and my sister was supposed to have mine <laughs> as well and she hasn't gotten that yet and you know again i don't know if it's just a local thing but i wanted that like in that tiny tiny like outline i know and they won't do it and they didn't do it and it's not that it's like fat i mean it's just like a fatter line so like over time if for some reason that was to bleed you're not gonna know what that is i wonder so it's been what it's probably been it's probably been six or seven years since we went and got like since you got those two yeah maybe um because i got my i got my this was this one on my ring finger at the same time that you got one of those probably this one because this was (laughs) the um yeah, and I I don't think I was there for that uh, one, yeah. but I was there for that. Like we went as a big group because yeah. everybody got one, yeah. got something, and um, and although there was maybe I was there for both of them because I went one and didn't get a tattoo, and I went with one group and did get a tattoo, so I can't remember anyway. But I know what you're talking about. I know I know the events. Um, kind of makes I mean, kind of makes me like want to do tattoos. But so I wonder because that thin line tattoo has become so, so much popular. more of a trend because it was a, again a coastal thing that moved in. Yeah, and you know, like it was a trend on the coast when we got all of these, but they mm-hmm. wouldn't do it here locally. Yeah. I wonder if they've adapted and started like gotten the right tools or yeah, just like the like right the mentality to like, like start doing like yeah. okay, this is what's going to be asked. We got to adapt and add it. So maybe they, you know, maybe they but have I that would now. I almost think that like 
if it's something, if, why would you tell somebody that it might fade or whatever? You're like, okay, well, that just means they're going to come back. Mm-hmm. It's like microblading for your eyebrows. You're always going to have to touch them up because it's going to fade because it's not. Well, pinched. there's probably like people that complain. I mean, you know, there's, yeah. they've there's probably more, had. Yeah. Yeah. But all still, kinds. I mean, I'm, I guess as long as you have the paperwork to sign and say like, hey, this is what I want and just what, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it. And I think, or, or here's the thing at the time and you're like, <laughs> okay. okay, well, and that's the other thing is like, you know, if they say they're not going to do it, go someplace else. Like, you know, okay. <laughs> just, I mean, let's just go to a different city and like Instagram somebody that's like, we really like their work. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, there's people here that do great yeah, so, work. That's what I, mean, I was going to say. We, we need here. to find I mean, There's actually some, some people here that do great work. Mm-hmm. So it's not anything to do with Arkansas tattoo artists. Well, and I mean, we're not tattoo experts either. Like, like no, we're not like, we we're, like, like we're like, tiny, we're like, like, the, like yeah, we're like, not tatted, they're like, okay, please. well, that's going to be the minimum price. <laughs> like every time I go in, they're like, well, that's the minimum, you know? <laughs> and they're like, oh, what time is it? We almost, we close in 15 minutes. Yeah, like, sure, we can do that yeah. five second tattoo. Yeah. You're happy? Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not. It's not with the work they want to be doing you either. Know what though? This is really fun. It's, um, so, you know, piercings are super fun and cool, and I love all the like fun piercings that are like here and here. I don't know what they're all called. Here, here, mm-hmm. here. I love that. Um, and places here, tattoo parlors are great for piercing because they do a really clean job with a needle, and they and they like are really good at lining up to make mm-hmm. sure everything's really even. So a client of mine went to Boston on a vacation, which actually a lot of people lately have been going to Boston. Uh, Boston's an amazing I want city. want to go there. I'm not kidding. Like, I swear, it's really cool. five or more people have gone to vacation in Boston in the last, like, five months. Mm-hmm. And I want to go there. But anyway, uh, one of the girls went to – was she's in college so of course it's got to be cool right there's a place there called stud Mm -hmm. and i love the name at first when she was like i didn't know what she was going to tell me and she said stud i'm like what could this be (laughs) Stud. what is this Mm -hmm. um anyway it's it and it was a place where you go and you can get tattoos and all the girls that work there are like gorgeous Mm -hmm. and they have it's not like going into a tattoo place where people might have like crazy tattoos that some not to be judgmental or like or for some people might be judgy going into a tattoo place Mm -hmm. there i mean it's not a lie there are people that are not going to go into a tattoo place Mm -hmm. so they might go into a piercing place not besides claire's Mm -hmm. right right you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so this was just piercings only and these girls had like you know really cool fun you know connections here that connected to here and whatever Mm -hmm. and it only sold the 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 jewelry that would go here and then they would take you out Mm -hmm. she said it was the coolest place she's ever been oh wow like that's so awesome but she couldn't figure out how they she's like i sat there and i was like how do they make money here but anyway so it was just this really cool place it was real Mm -hmm. trendy it's and i think it the the idea was just like it's a different look Mm -hmm. not to say anything wrong with like tattoo places that, it, it that, appeared more like a jewelry store than it did yes a it was more piercing of place. like for the person that's like not is intimidated by like all the tattoos and piercings in mm-hmm. places they don't want them yeah like it's more like just funky ear piercings mm-hmm. and maybe a tiny stud mm-hmm. or it's not like yeah super crazy with with a fashionable look yeah I don't think I'll get any more piercings. Like I, like, I tried. It didn't work. I, I, well, I was with you, and yeah. um, it like hurt. after my belly button, like I got my belly button pierced when I was like twenty two <laughs> or something like that, and I had it until what? Oh my god, I was trying to take it out. Like remember, and and um, <laughs> we could not get it out. We could not get it out, and so. I ended up getting taken out in New Orleans. I think didn't weren't we like passing by some place in New Orleans? Like, and I we and tried to take it out somewhere. We we were in Park City. Okay. When we tried to take it out, and like I had everybody like huddled around my stomach Literally with pliers. pliers, like I was just tired of it. It wasn't like there was something wrong. Yeah, and then um, and I'd because ha- I'd had it at that point for like fifteen years. Yeah, did, did we go somewhere and they took it out? We in, so and on our next trip to New Orleans, when there was a group of us that went to New yeah. Orleans, 
I'm pretty sure it was in New Orleans where I happened. Okay. And we were walking around and we walked past like a tattoo uh, piercing place. And I went in. They're like, hey, like we talked about, it. we're like, yeah, let's go in. So I go in and I'm like, hey, can y'all take a piercing out? And they're like, yes, wait. Why do you want to do they that? Go, they go, what's wrong with it? Like they thought maybe it was infected or mm-hmm. something. And I was like, there's nothing wrong with it. I just want it out and I can't get it out. Like I just can't get it out. And um, like there's literally nothing wrong with it. And um, and uh, they're like, okay. And it took them all of like, what, 15 seconds? Yeah. $50. I mean, <laughs> I think it was like 30. Yeah. Still. And, um, I mean, but still, yeah. and I was like happy to pay it because we had tried, we tried so hard. Which was kind of scary. It was totally probably, scary. It's probably scary that it wasn't infected from but, us trying. I know. I know. But everybody was like really good, but it was like, we had to, like tools and everything <laughs> and they just like popped it right off. And, um, and so, but like, I'll get more tattoos. And I think like, I like that look of the earring thing, but like, I'm going to do it fake. I'm going to fake it. You know, I just don't want to like yeah. deal with like the piercing part of it. For some do reason, you, like tattoos are fine, but I just don't want to deal with pier- piercings. Did you ever watch the show? I think it was originally started on Lifetime and it was um, the uh, Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce. Um, I started watching it because you recommended I, it and then I never finished it. I, like I got sidetracked and never finished it. Okay. The lead actress, and I don't know her name, but mm-hmm. I loved her her like she had some fun piercings here mm-hmm. and i always thought it was really cool and it's not just like the upper thing like, it's like I'm, all the cart it's all the cartilage I don't know and everything the technical stuff but it was like in here with like maybe a bar and mm-hmm. then over here it was just it, it it added like a little edge to like a mm-hmm. little bit more not, I, wonder, I don't want to say older lady because mm-hmm. I'm not an older lady. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I don't like to say, refer <laughs> that terminology to myself. But I'm just saying, like, it added, I like a little edge. And I have not been able to do it. Like, I did the cartilage up here. And I had it for, like, a freaking year. And then, like, one day I combed it. And it was just, like, that's the, the thing. That's, I was, like, I can't take it anymore. That's why I don't want to do it. Because I'm, like, always afraid every, something's going to pull. And, like, I can't. Yeah, and I, I, it freaks. Like, that just gives my, makes my stomach turn. That's why I can't do a piercing. And I had a pierce. I, so, I did double pierce in high school, like, over here. The same year, too. I've got doubles on the side. And I still, yeah, still do. I woke up one morning with this. And it was, you couldn't see it. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I had to, it literally, my ear was so swollen. I had to pull it out the back. Oh, see, that makes my stomach turn. Ooh, 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 and ooh. now I have like some cartilage. Like I can feel mm-hmm. it. But a scar so, tissue I mean, or something. Yeah, yeah. T- yeah. So I'm like, I, I'm just destined not to have a single piercing. Mm-hmm. So I'll just maybe buy like a, I feel like such a P word when I have just a, Oh, see, like I a, don't think like I don't think of it that way. Okay, good, thank you. Um, I tried. <laughs> I don't think of it that way, but yeah, like that's the thing about like I just worry like something's gonna get snagged, no, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. As a hairstylist too, like I had, I, I've had w- one person that I can think of, and you, you do accidentally like possibly <laughs> do, and I'm like, oh my god, it's just like, and I swear you, if you comb, if comb okay, that, we gotta, it we gotta, hurt. we gotta change the Sorry. subject because like I'm gonna, I'm not, she's gonna barf. <laughs> I'm going to pass out is more likely like when I, when I got my, my belly button pierced, I nearly passed out. Like it was a, <laughs> well, see, I'm not very good. I'm, I don't do well. Like one of the girls today was trying to tell me like, Hey, you want to see when I was bleeding? And I was like, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't want to see the blood. I, I really can't do blood or bones. That's why mm-hmm. I'm not in the medical field. Mm-mm. yeah like I, when all that stuff is like if matthew and i are watching a show like i turn my head and i'm like just tell me when it's over tell me when i can I look can do, oh speaking of shows what are you watching um okay so we're watching we were watching <laughs> the startling. the old man on i mean i think it's on fx but we're watching it on hulu or something something like that yeah uh, maybe it's amazon prime i don't know mm-hmm. where we're watching it um but that's jeff bridges it's really good and i know you've tried to watch it i think you need to give it another shot like you have to just get through that first episode but the first like it's good i think it was just like this one thing of of like because at the very beginning it it's kind of a he's taking care of his wife yeah it and seems like, like we had this depressing whole, like, Matt was taking care of me when I was sick, and it was mm-hmm. just like, oh my god, this is so sad, kind of thing. Yeah, and I was like, this is depressing. Is it going to be like this the whole time? It definitely and, not. Okay, definitely not. So we'll go back to it. Um, we started watching the new season of the Umbrella Academy, um, which is good. Um, Let's talk about that for one sec. Uh huh. I like. I mean, I like it a lot. 
I like how silly it is. It's oh, I love how silly it is. Mm-hmm. I like it so much more than like the boys on Amazon. Have uh-huh. you watched that? Yeah, not the current not, season, yeah, but I we've watched, watched the current. But, but I think it's it's not as violent as it's the boys. It's super but, violent. Um, Umbrella Academy. I think um, it just goes into I don't know. I just people's hair drives me crazy. <laughs> And I'll talk, and one, I'll talk, what's the, the, I don't know the actress's name with the the curly hair. Uh I don't know her name either. um, You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Like her hair this season drives me crazy because it's so pretty in the last season and it was like, like natural and it had like some blonde in it. Uh And I don't know, like she wearing a wig? I think a lot of them are wearing. I don't like it. I'm like, can we just not? Well, and they're, they're flipping back and forth between time or kind of this. You know, my favorite one is the one, the guy that plays the kid. He's a favorite uh, he's because funny. he kind of is supposed to, he's an adult. He's he like an like asshole. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's an adult asshole kid, mm-hmm. which that's probably a modern day thing. Which, Do you know uh-huh. on the, in the Umbrella Academy, they've got the Sparrow Academy, you know, yeah. and um, one of the actresses is Cassie David, who is Larry David's daughter. Larry who? David is, you know who Larry David yeah. is, right? So, Cassie David is, um, she's got long, dark hair. She's the one that does the spitting. Oh, that's so weird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's Larry David's daughter? Mm-hmm. Um, like, I'm, like as soon as, as soon as it came, because I follow her on Instagram, like, because mm-hmm. she's, she, she's a writer and has done some other things. And I was, like, watching, and I was, like, I think that's Cassie David. Like, I didn't even know she was, an, I didn't even know she was an actress. Like, I, like, that's, I did not know she was huh. an actress or that she was in Umbrella it's Academy, even though I, mean, I follow like, her on Instagram. You know, I, so. I mm-hmm. I like superhero stuff, so it's kind of if you're not into like that sci-fi mm-hmm. superhero ish kind of genre, then this isn't for you. Right. Well, so have you watched any of the Mormon stuff? Because there's all been a lot of um, stuff on Mormons. Yeah. Like there's the Under the Banter of Heaven, Mm-mm. which was a book. This is Andrew it, Garfield. Banner or banter? Maybe. I, I'm asking. I'm, ask, I'm, I'm, I'm asking. I don't know. I'm asking. I don't know. Usually, I'm just like under the blah, 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 hand oh, heaven. the Andrew. Gar- I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Um, <gasps> I knew that Andrew Garfield was in something that was really good, it's but good. I hadn't. Um, That's it. It's maybe Banner, Banner or Banter. I'm not really sure, guys. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you. It is under the banner B A N N E R okay. of heaven. It's true crime with Andrew Garfield, Daisy Edgar Jones. Which, Wyatt Russell, Rory Culkin. Yeah, uh, both of those two. Mm-hmm. Wyatt Russell and the uh, Culk. Rory. Rory, which I didn't even know there was another one. There's a bunch of them. I know. Um, they're both amazing. All of them are so good. Yeah. Because they play a crazy part. And, and I think the thing that gets me with those type of shows is the fact that it's based on a true story. And also, when it goes into religion that I have no idea about, mm-hmm. when it's very, like, questionable, you're kind of like, if this is anything like what this show, which I'm not saying that it's, I'm believing, I'm for anybody that, like, says it's not <laughs> real, I'm, it makes me more interested. I'm like, oh, yeah. my God, is this, if this is so crazy, yeah, if this is true. So, I'll, usually after it's over, I'll kind of look at stuff up, uh-huh. but, um... Okay, so I need you to check totally that out. watch it. Like, I was a little slow. I started it, and it was a little slow to start. Mm-hmm. But that's how sometimes, like, serious things, I'll start playing on my phone. And if you don't put the phone down, what, or be, if, if you're distractions, mm-hmm. you have to stop the distractions. Yeah. But it's a little slow to start, but it's really good. Yeah. And so I feel like ever since that show came out and it became pretty popular, there's, like, a lot of, like, documentaries that are on maybe – Netflix or Amazon related to that, that. Have to do with the same type of okay like, I'll have to check it like out people that are in that like I've been married to someone that was married to 30 wives and mm-hmm. I re- escaped which is I insane just cannot imagine oh my god oh my gosh you just like try to hide I'm sure if you're married to someone that has 30 wives you're like I'm just gonna hide under my under my um, right under my collar <laughs> And my bun. Yeah. So they don't see me. That's insane. 
No, that's but they insane. keep those people so sheltered that they don't know that the they difference. Don't know any difference? Like they, the, there's, there's a. I just saw a tiny um, commercial for something that was, I think, on um, Amazon, and I forget the name of the series, but and she goes into talking about how like this girl, she's like. She's ready. She's 18. She's like, I'm just ready to have babies. I'm just ready to have babies and have a family. Because that's she what they know. Even, she didn't know how babies were made. Mm-mm. And so her dad was like, it's like a big deal if the prophet wants to like mm-hmm. marry you. And the, he wanted to marry you. And he was like 80 something. And she just thought kissing him was going to make, make her babies. Yikes. That's so scary. I'm sorry. That is so scary. Yikes. But they don't know because they keep them so sheltered. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we could go on about that one. I know. I just saw what time it was. <laughs> I haven't even had dinner. <laughs> I know. I can hear your husband up there making dinner right now. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> okay, well, this is a good start. Yeah. Um, cheers. Um, our new space. Love it. Love it.